Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your first animation like this one completely free on your computer. And for this tutorial, we will be using my favorite free animation software, Krita, which is like a free version of Photoshop with animation features built into it. If you don't own a drawing tablet, that's fine. I will be showing you the settings I use to get smooth lines when drawing with a mouse and sometimes even with a drawing tablet. Okay, let's get straight into it. Installing software. To start off, you'll need to go to krita.org and click on the download tab. Click on the corresponding version for your operating system. Once the download is complete, start up the installer.exe and complete the installation. Now that it's installed, it's time to start it up so we can start setting up our animation. Creating a project. Once you see the opening screen, click on new file. It will bring up a little pop-up window where you can choose the size, resolution, as well as the color format. For YouTube, you will want to set it to 1920 by 1080 pixels. The resolution doesn't really matter unless you plan on printing it out on a poster, so 72 will work just fine. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click on Create, which will then bring up your default workstation in an empty project. To get to the animation workstation, go to the top right corner and hit this little drop down menu button and select the animation workstation. This will bring up your timeline and animation dockers, which are the two dockers you'll need to animate. Now, let me quickly explain the animation docker. The animation docker shows you the current position you are on in the timeline, along with the starting and ending frames of your animation, basically how long it is. And these buttons can be used to play your animation, skip a frame in your animation, and skip to the beginning or end. The next button is to add blank frame, which as you can see is used by clicking on it and having your cursor at the desired position on the timeline. You can also add an opacity keyframe using the little down arrow next to the button. The remaining buttons are duplicate frame, remove frame, onion skin which brings up the settings, auto frame mode which creates a new frame every time you draw on a new keyframe on the timeline, and drop frames which drops frames during the playback if your computer can't handle rendering it in real time. Using the animation docker you can also set the frame rate of your project and the playback speed. I personally recommend using 24 frames a second for lip sync and doing most of the animation every other frame to save time. Going below 12 frames per second starts to get a little choppy, just so you know. Choosing brush and brush settings. Now I'm going to go over the brush tool and its settings. The brush tool is this little paintbrush under the toolbox tab. Krita comes with many brushes and you can add many more brushes for free. For animations, you want to choose a good circle brush that doesn't have too much of this transparent anti-aliasing fuzziness stuff, but also not too jagged. I find that the basic one brush works best for me and for my line art. For sizing your brushes, you can use the little bracket keys or go to the top and resize it by dragging this or you can press these little up and down arrows. Now, if you don't own a drawing tablet and your mouse makes jagged lines, you can go to Tool Options tab and select Stabilizer and play with the distance and delay settings till you're satisfied. Just as a side note, the circle, rectangle, and polygon tools also use the selected brush by default. This can be changed by selecting the tool and going to Tool Settings. Also, if you want your shape to be filled in, change the fill to background or foreground color, depending on what you want. Recording audio to animate. Now that you have a basic knowledge of the tools and dockers for animating, you'll want something to animate too. And for this animation, I'm going to be animating my character saying, Hello there, I'm Metro Animates. You can record this in any program you want. But I recommend Audacity, which is completely free and has everything you need to edit and record. To import the audio to your project, click on the little button on the bottom left corner and click on Open Audio and locate the audio file. Sketching your character in animation frames. Now step one to animating is sketching out the main keyframes and design of your character. First step, turn on onion skin by pressing on this little light bulb next to the timeline. This allows you to see what you've drawn before and after your current keyframe. For my animation, I want my character to pop up and wave hello. Here I made a quick little time lapse of me sketching out my character. 
For the frames where my character pops up, I use the transform tool to move my character down, and on the next frame, I stretch him out a little before he sits in his resting position, to give him a little bit of a bounce. Also, for the arm, when it starts to move, I use the lasso tool and the transform tool to give it a smoother transition before the in-between frame. For the in-between for the arm, I decided to give it a bit of a smear to make it seem a little smoother. For a little more character, I'll add a bit of head movement when he waves. Drawing your character's line art. The next step is drawing your line art to your sketched animation. So create a new layer for your line art. In fact, I would recommend creating two separate layers for the animated arm and head movement so we don't have to redraw the body every frame or worry about trying to erase the arms and head. Here's an example of animation with and without using multiple layers. Remember, you can use the transform tool to give a little extra bounce in life by doing a little stretching, skewing, or rotating. If you plan on lip syncing your character, I would recommend not drawing the mouth for now. Otherwise, it'll be a lot of extra work of copying frames, erasing, and redrawing. Coloring your animations. For quickly coloring your animations in Krita, make a new layer and place it underneath the line art layers using the up and down arrow buttons. You can take the fill tool and go to tool options and turn up the grow selection to two or three. Now just click inside your line art and it'll fill right in. If you didn't turn up the grow selection, it will turn out like this. Because Krita is a bitmap program, it uses pixels, not vector lines. For more complex animations, you can also use another separate layer for shading. That way you can use the onion skim to keep things more consistent. Lip syncing your character. To create lip sync, I'd recommend first googling a good mouth chart example. For this tutorial, I'll show you the mouths I use. Now if you want smooth looking lip sync, the two biggest tips I have are keep each mouth the same style and keep the top lip consistently in the same place on your character. Now you want to scrub over your audio and match the correct mouth to the sound. Like the first sound is a h and a uh sound, which is an open mouth, and then it's an L sound, which has the tongue to the roof of the mouth, and so on. This may seem hard at first, but the more practice you have, the more efficient you will become at lip sync. If you don't feel comfortable just doing it by ear, then make or use a lip sync mouth chart. Rendering and sharing. Now to turn your animation into MP4, go up to File, go up to Render Animation, and go to the Video tab. You'll see it wants a program called FFmpeg to render your video. So go into the description and find the link and download the latest build for your operating system. Save this file to a place where it won't get deleted. Once you download and unzip the folder, click onto the folder and find the ffmpeg.exe file. This is the only file you'll need, so if you want, you can delete the other files that comes with it. Now to add this to Krita, either copy the link location or go back into Krita and click on the little folder icon next to FFmpeg and find the file and select it. Now to make sure your video output settings are correct, click on this little dot 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 and make sure your profile is baseline or main, otherwise it doesn't work. I'm not really sure why. And congratulations, you finished your first animation for free! Before you leave this video, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good day!